Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my video. Oh man, I am stuck at Burger King right now. So basically, I must have been in Burger King for no more than like five minutes because I had to use the bathroom. It's freaking cold out here. Anyway, parked my car, went in to uh, use the bathroom, came back out and tried to stop my car and nothing, no crank. I am hearing nothing right now. Well, hearing my radio, hearing my flow motor, hearing... I'm hearing everything ex except the... I mean, when I say I don't hear anything, I don't hear the engine cranking. I don't hear the starter cranking. I don't hear anything as far as mechanical is concerned. I mean, I do hear a click, but at everything else, everything else works on this car. And my radio was blasting pretty loud. Well, not blasting really loud, but <coughs> I mean, as far as power, I'm not, I'm not at a loss for power right now. I don't think, except that my car is not starting. Oh man! So I'm like, okay, I gotta get places, but this is the situation I'm at right now. I gotta get places, so um, so I'm like, okay, let me just uh, do a little something right now, like. Not right now, but this happened like about 45 minutes ago. I'm like, let me just go out and, and, and check the check the lights. Hopefully it's just, uh, you know, battery related or something like that. Anyway, turn on my high beams, went out, you know, in. It's pretty damn, it was pretty bright. I mean, it was pretty bright. I mean, I can't rule out the battery. I mean, normally if it's that bright, I think the battery should be okay. Um, starting my car, I think it's just low on battery low on juice or whatever i could just you know like doing like um have like a slow crank or something like that i wasn't even hearing a slow crank it was not nothing <coughs> so i was like okay okay i gotta get a jump i gotta get a jump and i asked a couple of people for a jump uh, apparently people in a hurry burger king's not the best place to ask somebody for a jump so I had to tell somebody that I'd give them like 10 bucks or whatever if they helped me jump my car. So the guy was okay with it. You know, I put some cables on it, try to crank it up. Nothing, nothing, no crank, nothing. So I was like, okay, how about we just leave it there for three minutes? Cranked it up, nothing. <coughs> All right. So at that point I was like, okay, nothing. But uh, the guy didn't take the 10 bucks, so it, it didn't cost me anything for that. But it's costing me money now because time is money and I got places to go. Oh, man. <clears throat> so, like, okay, it's probably not the battery. I think I can rule that out. <clears throat> I think I can probably rule out the battery issue. That's is the battery. Um, and uh, next thought I went to was maybe it's the alternator. Maybe my, my alternator is shot. So, I like, and then I realized, like, what are the chances... That my car wasn't running. Because my car wasn't running. I didn't leave my car running. I did not leave my car running when I went to uh, <coughs> went to McDonald's. <clears throat> <coughs> so I, like, I was like, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Here's the situation here. Alright, the car wasn't running. And uh, basically when the guy put the cables to the alternator. If... If it was the alternator that was the issue, the car would have just cranked up without a problem. And uh, once he took the cables off, the car would have died out. Then I knew for a, then I would know for a fact it was the alternator. That's not the case. All right, it didn't start up at all, at all, nothing. So I was thinking maybe, possibly, it's not the alternator. Probably not the alternator. You know, I'm like 99% sure it's not the alternator. 99% sure it's not the battery, not the alternator. So. Came into my came back to my car and was thinking called AAA at that point. <coughs> I was thinking, okay, let me uh, go back out and look under the hood, see what I could spot. So I took out my flashlight. So I lit parking lot, but I took out my flashlight, checked it, and uh, I noticed that that um, that the terminals were. I wouldn't say they were rusty. I would say they were corroded. 
I say they were corroded. Um, I didn't have anything cleaned up, so what I did was I went to Burger King. I got a couple Whoppers, and I got some soda, like Coke, and I poured it on the terminal. You know that, that trick? There's a trick. You can pour it on the terminals to clean it up. Wiped it off with some paper towel, <clears throat> and uh, it looked pretty It looked pretty clean. It, it, uh, it fizzled up. It looked pretty clean. And uh, at that point, um, I, you know... I was thinking, you know, it's clean enough for it to start. So went back to my car, cranked it, nothing, <coughs> nothing happened. So at that point, I was thinking, okay, not the battery, not the terminals. Went back out, check out the ground wire, see if the ground wire to the negative to the to to the frame was was, you know, I took a flashlight, checked that out. You know, didn't have any tools on me, wasn't wasn't able to. Um, to do anything with that, but it looked pretty clean to me. And I actually uh, got some more Coke and, and pretty much spilled it. So uh, under my hood is pretty sweet right now <clears throat> because of the Coke and sticky. I got to clean that off. <clears throat> so didn't work, nothing. So I was thinking to myself, okay, so it's not the battery. I don't think it's the terminals, any of that stuff. What could it be? What could it possibly be? So, it's kind of cold out, came back to my car because I didn't want to wait out there thinking, came back, came back to my car, Googled a couple of things, YouTube a couple of things, so I was like, okay, maybe I'll check the fuse box. <coughs> Went back out, popped the fuse box, looked at the fuse box, and uh, checked out the relay, I found the starter relay, the relay to, to, the, to the starter. So, I'm looking at the other relays, and I found out that there's another relay that was similar to the starter relay. You know, same watch or whatever, same number. So I popped that out and swapped it, tried, tried to turn the car on, and nothing. I did hear a click, but nothing. Now, I can't say that 100% it wasn't the relay because, you know, what, what are the chances if I took one if I took one relay out, replaced it with another relay? What if, what if that, that, that other relay, I think that other relay was, I don't know what, what it was for, but whatever the important relay where I kind of try to fix one issue... But it got to the point where, you know, the other uh, the other relay kept it from starting. Do you guys know what I mean? So I thought to myself, okay, fine. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure it's not the relay, but I can't be 100 percent sure it's not the relay, except for the fact that I do hear a click, and from previous experience, if there's a click, if there's a click. <clears throat> Normally, that's the solenoid, the, 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 the solenoid clicking to the starter motor or the relay clicking. All right. Normally, the relay relays electricity from the battery to the starter. <coughs> I mean, I still can't be 100% sure on it without actually getting a brand new lead relay and, and, and putting it in and testing it. But I don't think it's the relay at this point, at that point. So, oh, it was pretty cold out. It was like 32 degrees. Uh, so I went back to my car, thought about some more, maybe, and I was thinking maybe it was the fuses. I was hoping, crossing my fingers, that it was something real simple that I could probably Uber to like an AutoZone, pick up a couple of fuses, pop it in. I was looking at the fuses. The fuses looked good, nothing at all, no problems. It didn't look like there was any issues. So I didn't think it was um, the fuses. But here's the thing. Um, the, the couple of times that I've had issues with my fuses where it caused my car not to start, I've had twice, uh, two two times where my car didn't start because of fuses. Um, one time was, um, it was the main fuse that popped <clears throat> to my car. It was the previous car that I had, it was the main fuse that popped. I was getting no electricity at all throughout the car. It was the main fuse that connected to the battery to the fuse box, I was getting nothing, so nothing worked. Swapped out that, and it, everything worked without any problem. But that's not the issue that I'm having here, considering um, I am getting electricity everywhere, everywhere. I mean, my remote works, my alarm works, everything works except the car doesn't turn, doesn't turn on. So that's not that's not the problem here. The other case that I had with a fuse issue was. Um, <coughs> Um, the, the fuse that, that, um, that was causing the issue was the fuel pump where I would be able to crank it up. Everything works. I was able to crank it up, but, but 
you know, the car would not turn over. Wouldn't turn over. All right. Unfortunately, that's not the problem here. I'm saying unfortunately because I wish that was the issue. Because if that was the issue, I would just swap out fuses. I mean, I just thought about that. If there was a fuse issue, I could just swap out a fuse from like something like uh, window wipers and swapped it out for the and then just start up. And but that's not the key issue here because it doesn't actually crank at all. Everything works. It just doesn't crank. So I'm th I'm in my car. I'm thinking to myself, it clicks. It clicks every time I try to turn on. It clicks. So I'm thinking to myself, <coughs> um, if it clicks and every time I turn it on, it clicks, I'm going to say that it's got to be the starter at this point. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I could test it out. Um, you know, I could like pop the star relay out and actually put a wire. I do. I do have a wire here somewhere. I mean, I could cut a wire and then and just connect it and see if this is start. But I... I watched a YouTube video a while ago, and I could watch YouTube, but I'd have to know where the negative and positive on, on on that on on that board is for that for that relay. And uh, I didn't want to just I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to actually short out anything. I mean, if I shorted something out, I would have to replace the whole entire box, which would be like an absolute bigger pain. Now that I'm having this issue, and then I'm like, that would be just an absolute horrible. That would be a nightmare, actually, if that was the case. But then end up doing that. Now, I could use, like, uh, I could bump the starter. I mean, I do have a crowbar that's long enough to bump it. But I, I didn't I didn't end up doing that either because I'd have to take the cover off and all that crap. <clears throat> I didn't I didn't end up doing that. So I was like, all right, might as well call, call up Tropo A. Here's the thing. Here's why I didn't think it was the starter that was the issue. I didn't think it was the starter that was the issue um, because I changed that starter out. A while ago, well, not a while ago. I changed that starter out like, um, let me like year and a half ago. I changed that starter. Well, it wasn't a while ago. I changed it out a year and a half ago. And during that period, I probably put in maybe like, I don't know, like twenty thousand miles on this car. Putting like twenty thousand miles on this car. I don't think. I mean, I'm I'm hoping that's not the starter because I was hoping the starter would last me or well over a hundred thousand miles. All right, so I, I'm hoping that's not the starter. But um, I did remember somebody did tell me that when, when you buy a refurbished starter, which is what I did, because I could have bought a brand new starter, um, but the brand new starter was like 300 bucks, so it was twice as much as a regular uh, a refurbished one. So I ended up buying the refurbished one for 150 The call was 40 you know, taxes was like 210 I mean, taxes, the total came to 210 instead of like, I don't know, like 350 or something like that, which I didn't have at the time. Anyway, it's refurbished, and the uh, thing about refurbished starters is they only fix the part that's broken. They don't actually fix all the parts. So, you know, um, so I guess that's a give and take. You spend less, but <clears throat> you get something that, <clears throat> you know, that actually has the totality, the totality of it has whatever the mileage of the original car was, except for the piece that was put in, which is brand new. But, um, uh, I did call it AAA, and uh, I'm hoping that they get here within an hour so that I can get this done as far as figuring out what the issue is, because this is like a waste of time to me at this point, and uh, I'm just pretty disappointed that that I got to go through um, this kind of issue knowing that I actually replaced the starter. I actually replaced the starter like a year and a half ago, but... We'll, we'll see what happens, guys, all right? I'm going to keep you guys updated. Um, if you guys are having the same issue, hope this has helped you out. But I'm going to keep you guys updated. All right, guys, so what's up? And uh, this is... All right, it took it took AAA two hours to get to my car. And essentially got a tow to my house. Um, I, I checked out all the fuses. All the fuses were good. I checked out the relay. I actually bought a new relay from AutoZone. Popped it in. Nothing. So it's not the relay. It's not the relay. It's not the fuses. All right. So at that point, um, I, I, I was pretty sure that it was the starter that was the problem. So, you know, I, I, I ended up trying to fix it myself, fixing it myself. Um, got to where the starter was. And I tested the starter by putting connecting a, a line. Uh, a cable from the positive of the battery to the solenoid, um, to the solenoid um, terminal. I, you know, I tried to pop it. There was a spark, but nothing. There was nothing. 
uh, there was no turning, it wasn't turning, anything like that, I didn't hear a noise, so I'm pretty sure, I was pretty sure at that point that it wasn't the, the starter that was the issue, which really sucks, but it is, it is what it is, um, I had taken it out, took it to AutoZone, had them, re had them replace it, they gave me uh, another one for free, because they're lifetime warranties, but that's not the point, because I wasted like half a day at at least half a day I wasted on, on this whole entire project. I did get the, you know, obviously I popped it in and everything works good now. It turns on every single time I turn, I, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I turn, try to turn the car on. It works a hundred percent now. So it turned out that it was the starter, uh, and, uh, man, what a hassle. But, um, thanks for listening guys. If you guys, um, if you guys, uh, want to give me uh, you know, a thumbs up. Please, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and any comments at all. Please leave your comments. And I hope this has helped you guys out. Um, if you guys are in the same situation and need to figure out uh, what, what the situation is with your car. All right, guys. Take care.